this kid will hire him as an old change for a fire over a day or that work for us for six months or months. They show us they're going to come to work and help us about this. We'll pay for them to go to college to get an associate degree. As long as they work for us, we have some work for them for two or three years. Oh, I bet they're remotely good when they have it's not bad. It's not bad. Sign me up. Yeah. 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 I mean, that would be good. When you say, you know, people want to go to work with very close clients. The general manager called me and he says, hey, I need a parts guy. You have someone who can even send me over to you. I said, well, what that means. I don't know what that means. He said, kid, you really want to be a mechanic, but that's the point I have. I can't still. He said, no cars like that. I said, okay, so I'm a little bit more like, let's say, hey, I'm going to give you like, a minimum wage. He goes, well, I just had to help my guy in the other store with some extra skill, and he's making a lot of money. Amazing opportunities. Things that I would never think about. Who do you do out there? And those are just the top of the options. We all have heat and ventilation and air conditioning in our homes, right? So if your furnace goes out at 2 o'clock in the morning in the middle of January, if you did somebody to come to your little children for a day, that would be very cool. So the jobs that we're providing children with, they're jobs that can't be outsourced. So there really is a lot of opportunity. And oh, by the way, if you get to your car pushing, I mean, you can't even talk about something. It's all computer I mean, I would submit to you that the, the garages at the local grocery store as clear as the people in the community. So it's a lot of change. So, um, Parker's going to talk a little bit um, here. Parker majors are right out of the month of Rand Mall Fair. Parker's going to talk to you just a little bit about what we're talking about in the four events. So, Mr. Shadow. Good evening, everybody. My name is Ross, and I'm the assistant director of the Rand Mall Fair. I just want to echo a couple things about the business. I just want to thank everybody for having us out. Brag about Parkway a little bit. Uh, just a little bit of a shout out. As you see here on the slide, is our 14 career majors. Uh, I'm just going to point out a few things on there. Uh, the, the cost of talking, the nail technician program is, uh, it's, 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 the nail and the pharmacy technician are embedded one year programs that we have uh, within our programs uh, for possibly maybe a senior that would be one year. And as you said, one year, uh, and then one year over the case of uh, cosmetology or health assistance.
outstanding park win. Uh, we they are open two days a week to the public, which is Wednesdays and Thursdays, unless it's holidays and you know, it's out. So this these are days where we're open to the public and you know there's someone on the uh pictures come in and we have a buffet salad there. It's seven dollars. All you can eat and drink, um, desserts, uh, it's well worth month. Uh, several different uh, choices to choose from. Um, our cosmetology clinic that we have in Parkway is open two days a week, and that is on two days and Fridays. I never really realized how much women spend on their hair. And as far as nails and so forth, you know, all this. More than anything. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, so, this is where they're open to the public two days a week, where they come in, and it's extremely reduced rate. Uh, I think I was just looking uh, the other day where I got these $5 for. Yeah, absolutely. Um, our auto technology and auto repair programs, um, programs, we bring a lot of work into the program directors, and the reason obviously we do that is for the company's experience as well as to ease up on consumables. Um, obviously, if the live work wasn't coming in, so with that live work on that, and then actually the, uh, the public paying for those parts and so forth, those are the way to charge for the parts, uh, which lowers our consumable rates, which is very for us. So, uh, and we got a large tire. So we do about everything. Um, so if you need anything, please let us know. Uh, our, we have a vet tech clinic that's open three days a week, which is on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Uh, we have doggy daycare, we have grooming, uh, the nails, we do the brush the teeth, we do pretty much about anything. The doggy daycare, again, didn't realize how much doggy daycare was, how popular it was. I think it was doggy daycare. What do you think it was today? How many ways do doggy daycare? Very a day. The average around Morris uh, Woods. There's, there's several different uh, places that were out there that, that do that. I was kind of amazed. We charge three dollars. Uh, obviously, it comes the, the time that uh, our students are at school, so it's a little bit of time on the there. But it gives the kids the opportunity to do little different animals and do things that they need to do uh, to include that, that program. Uh, again, you know, with all the advice you also to take advantage of many of these um, uh, places and so forth that we have in part of the way. Anybody wants, ever wants a uh, tour of the school, please let uh, one of the administrators here or anybody want to see us at all. If you want that, it's already through. So, again, I look for my part of the recording. So, we're going to go with Mr. Gibbons, my assistant. Mr. Shaver, thanks for everybody for having us. It's great. I, I always say it's a great time to be in that in her location. It really is. Um, the values have changed. And, uh, I think the society has to recognize the fact that this is a lot of option for the students to be successful. And uh, with some of the numbers about the COVID program, it's obvious that that's a true story. But uh, I'll tell you a little bit about our demographics. We do more than one of 12 sending districts. We have 12 districts um, that are in the consortium, and there are two districts outside the consortium that do send us students. So uh, that helps to offset the cost of the sending districts. Um, 14 career majors have been talked about already. We have five academic courses. We offer American history, chemical properties, oral cultures, principal technology, and civics. We notice we're a little bit heavy on the, on the social studies and everything. Students that are coming to Parkway that do take our academic courses are taking that because they don't fit into their schedule here in the CP. Um, and if they had to stay back and take that academic course, perhaps they'd miss out on the program in Parkway. Um, the, the social studies courses are not being tested by the state as heavily, so um, that's the part. I mean, those are the ones we offer, so you should have both control, Keystone Town, and all those things. Um, but we do have a uh, large number of students taking academic courses in Parkway, and that helps us 
few of our student populations. I've got a 98 percent graduation rate and a 90 percent knocking pass rate. The knocking is the CTC as P7 exams are to CV. Um, that's our that's our major in state. The state uses to tell us so how we want. We're very proud of that score. Um, that 90 percent is well above the state average. Actually, we have received awards in the last two years for being in the top CPCs in the state and reaching those levels. We have a 91% attendance rate, which we're also very proud of. Something Mr. Schneider and I work very hard with uh, towards for the, with the teachers and students to make sure they're there at all time and uh, participating. We try to create a world of work there, although it is a school and they are still high school students. We try to build a sense of responsibility around the attendance issue because, let's all face it, you don't go to work and you lose your job. And we send that message to the kids. And we um, also uh, encourage them to do that in the board program for attendance. So, perfect attendance is it's a pretty nice prize. And we uh, can wait. Bringing those prizes each, each um, So we have 28 professional staff, 22 non professional staff, 840 students. Which, by the way, this last year we were 750. So we're growing uh, pretty rapidly, which is another thing we're very proud of. Shark Tears Valley, uh, specifically, we'll talk a little bit about your kids. You have 85 students that are coming to our point. Um, those students earned 107 portable industry certifications last year. And with portable certification, portable industry certs are those certifications. That student has with them the day they graduate, they can go to the job and learn to the industry. And, uh, you know, maybe they're applying for a running position. I have these three certifications. They're applying to be an EMT. They are an EMT. And well, by the way, they also have Firefighter 1, CPR, and all the other things that come along with being. So all those industry certifications make them much more employable so they get out into the workforce and also it puts them out in front of the race and right? they go on post-secondary education, whether it be CCAC, Rosedale Tech, or some other um, college or institution. They're a little bit further ahead of the students that are going to school. And your students um, scored at 79% of the uh, CV students in particular, 79% uh, pass rate, 10, 10, there were 19 students that test, 10 were advanced, which is 53% of the students who were advanced, and 26% um, short confidence. And then there was a small third that 21% that didn't make the grade to the Small sample, small sample size, or very close to those students who improved their the outcome, so that they'll be more successful. And every year that changes. Um, uh, it goes up and down when we break it down by the district. Um, that just happens to be a little year for short term value when we look back in the year. So, when people are in the panic about the release on the same thing, it's going to work on it. It's going to go around the game and hopefully do that short term value. So, that's my time. Anybody have any questions for me? Thanks for your time. I've got a couple of wrap up. So, uh, Mr. McGibber mentioned that I uh, did this year. Last two school years, we were preparing to have a part of education to see the games in this whole school. So, from that perspective, has every person in the state, every school district, has a good version of education? So, about 140 school years, we're going to be lucky last year to have the seven weeks of the year. So, we're really proud of our schools going to have a lot of 10% academic performance in the year. It's really a good story. It's a good story. So we're really, really uh, excited. Um, a lot of good things going on, lots of issues. So it's very much getting out of the seminar. Last year we had to go into the seminar to go to water. And that's, that's so it's a case of going to work. Special thanks to Al for coming out and meeting with us once a month. We've had a great time on the program. We've got a great time to see you at your conference. And we're so appreciative.
motivation for the access to the majority of our each access is now stored in 1967. We're originally going to be in order to have that $1.7 million upgrade. We'll expect our GSC will be super pets. We'll give a very detailed report on that. Why does it be super pets? We'll put us in mind. I'm going to sit around and answer all the questions and really show you what we're going to do. Super pets should be asked. So, how did you know this one was? It's terrible. The way that works is each district. So I was in there about 11 and they lost more than two floors and now three guys are working on making that. So if I start to go to see the past seven weeks, and that's totally separate as a project budget. You know, any budget, which is our big budget, is going to be the next. I'm going to always try to say we really appreciate the fact that we are going a lot more for our class than we do for the rest of the class. That would be happy to be here. Any questions?
came up. Uh, there's a couple of handouts that I had for everybody. But the one was the uh, adjusted index, which just shows us compared to our uh, other districts in Allegheny County and what that index is going to be when it comes to what we are committed to raise if we decide to raise taxes as a district compared to everybody else. I showed this to Christina today. She is actually going to go back and do a little research herself. On, uh, she, she noticed that Upper St. Clair is a 2.8% compared to 1.4%. Uh, she had some knowledge of that originally, so she is actually going to do that first to research that and make some contacts and see if, uh, if there's a miscalculation on uh, their part for us. So she's going to research that. that. Also, uh, Mark has also quite our attention. Uh, and I have several handouts here with this, plus a little history as well. But what our village rates have been going back until 2010. So uh, here's some other. I'm trying to put these at least two on. Principal. We'll take it to the principal. The principal has it in their budget. 
then they will be able to pay for that. If they don't have it in the budget and it's necessary, then they would petition me, you know, the superintendent, and then I would determine if we, give it, if we had money for that. <coughs> So we're being creative. All right, so Julie said a lot of it, 
talking about the teachers at one time would have $150 as their teacher supply budget to buy their pens and post it notes and things of that nature. That was reduced uh, to $50. So that causes a little bit of an Not everybody used their $150 before, but some, you know, would, would push that limit. And so she said, now we're trying to look at all our supplies and, and make sure that we're being fiscally responsible in all those areas. So it's just not, you know, here, you know, buy as many red pens as you want, buy as many blue pens as you want. Now we're starting to look at it and say, okay, what do you need? What do you need? You know, and again, teacher supplies are not the same as student supplies, and sometimes that gets confused. There's, 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 a, there's a lot. So when we're talking about teacher supplies, surely we're talking about some of the things that they need, pens. Well, they, and, and they really have an open brain on that. So anything that they can use in their classroom, sometimes they use it for, you know, organizers for their school classroom mail, some, you know, whatever they feel that they need, you know, and, Many teachers, as you know, and you hear all the teachers, they go and they get other things in addition to that. But, but um, the classroom money that we give them is for their classroom. So let me just ask this. So if teachers and principals are working with teachers, right, teachers don't feel like they have the then they can go ask the principal. So have the principals have the same increase in the number of classrooms for arts and classes? Our supplies. Oh, okay. Talking to a few, they haven't seen a huge increase. Oh, I yeah, I don't know. You know, there have been things that people have come to me for special requests for particular things, and maybe they used to buy it this way through some supply money. We still need that, so people can say, okay, where can we take that from? And so. Has that been a big increase or not? I would say a slight increase. Not. not but it still happened in the past. Yes. Oh, yes. So, was your concern on that high school? Uh, supplies for what you were here for? I will double check in the high school. I did talk to Valerie today, and she didn't give me any. Thank you. 
or be in a position, and if you went from 30 to 8, are you hearing that whenever they go and request something, that they're saying no? Or are they being told no? I have a good feeling that they're being told no, right? It's just that they don't have the ability just to go out and buy it on their own. And that so, certain lives might have been way too high with them, that's right. Right. I don't want to deny people stuff. I mean, like, I could see there would be an issue if, uh, if ultimately they said, hey, we need, you know, we need play or something, and you say, nope, we can't get the play. Right. And then that's where, you know, whatever that is. So if, if we're not saying no, then it doesn't seem to be an issue. The only thing we said no to would be the open line to purchase of right. 30 So Julie, I think those are fair points um, to at least have us discuss. I mean, I think the bigger, the bigger point to me is really the fact that the budget was basically cut in half in one eight to nine, right? So we're not having our supplies or where are the other cuts in terms of their impasse and potential apparatus uh, or other areas. So, you know, again, it's not just my two cents on the gym, it's just be looking at the data to see if, you know, for example, are requesting principles, we're requesting for additional funds for XYZ products or for materials, resources, <clears throat> and then using that to determine which areas, you know, either we've got to figure out a way to get them from this financial resources and this impact. Yeah, so. Right. Well, so, no, and I don't disagree. But we haven't been we haven't been given yeah. any of those concerns. Those concerns may happen in January, February. March, you know, we, we can't proceed. Uh, there hasn't been the principals that I meet with them, they haven't really said, look, I'm going to request this, it's been turned out. And I speak with the union president, the union president probably come out as well. Those, those discussions haven't been given to them. But again, if, if, if it's a need,
and um, as well as the floor polishing contractor um, made it the site for the week as well. So our polishing is the roads. Uh, the bridge connector, the hydraulic elevator, is being installed. Uh, kitchen equipment, we want to be scheduled to start on Monday. Uh, so we'll hit the site in the morning and unload and start the installation of the new equipment. And in the gym, uh, the painting of the wall is fairly complete. And the gym equipment is with the blur as well. That's basically the last one. Uh, camp Road is still a place that this things happening there with uh, startup controls. Uh, balancing of the system is going to start next week. Uh, so that will start the entire building. Uh, outside, we continue to curb sidewalk work and targeting the end of October to that driveway of the stadium. Store water and So we're pushing the metal school. Um, you can tell when we try to post in this finish the 911 finish, you know. So it's headed in that direction. There are a lot of work still to take place, but it's definitely going to go The high school.
Victorian zoo area units are all operational in there. Uh, that much is the place to be Yes, yeah, so a little bit from that's
August, September 30th. And I have 14 and I have 11 being like the seven. So, the part of what we talked about uh, is to show the other sitting out as a hard process. Sometimes it is the contract you carry their insurance. It's not necessarily a soft process. What was that? So, the program sold, I think that's what you're looking at, is 94 specific yeah. So yeah, if you go back to the previous, I guess in September, August, they're going to vary differently between what she's doing and what they're not doing. I think once we get these, it's all good. Yeah, I think that's the reason like, the media is understanding what they're doing and what they're doing now, so that nothing gets missed or lost. Yeah, but it's not a different way to perhaps Oh, I agree. I think she's done a great job of keeping what she had to get ready to do this morning. So, no doubt. No doubt. Yep. So, alright, so that's what the next line is. <laughs> Any comments on that? Any other comments? Alright, so we go to the next item, which actually is the uh, approval of change order. Is there one here? Well, the most cool friend I have in my house is the second piece of this stuff out. Do you mind just sort of giving us back on the phone? I think she or 1.5 or 4.6 of her corrections. Just some math, so that was great on that. Yeah, these are actual corrections. Uh, passing the board that there's some typos and corrections that we would like to make sure. So that, and, yeah, it's on my report. Yeah, yeah, so that all that is is just to clean, clean up uh, the language. So that's that really we've already approved those. We're just approving. Okay. All right. So that needs to be done. Okay. Let's do Summer, uh, for that's not the 
similar to the other one we just talked about. It was really built to mostly the platform. So in various areas where we built a building that could go away, um, there was some double that passed through those areas that had to be removed because it wasn't going to anchor. So that had to get removed, and now we have to put some of it back. We're not putting all of it back. How we went back and look at it and um, revise somehow the system for us. What happens in that work is not necessarily that. There's like three main runs of the main installments in this year. So I kind of grew it into that same $85,000. Some of this is actually low for the basement, a couple of the old pool ceiling.
wraps around uh, the validation which is exposed to the brain. So I can determine that they want to talk about concrete curve. So that's the bad wishes. And six was a small credit really for a change in the equipment. You know, equipment controller.
this this one chart to me tells the story. That, that red is field conditions, and that's the wall conditions. So we got this is field conditions. We got that wall. I'm going to do it clearly so it's a huge risk and a change for his sort of go full on battery and I'm not left in this project. The next month will tell us more. Really, really by the end of the year when that middle school finishes up, I think we'll have a good handle on where this is going. Potential savings.